All right, guys, here we are at 307 Fawn Trail. Again, another great little property. Uh, let me walk you up here. You're basically at the end of the road. Um, there's a fire pit out there. Hardscape fire pit. Looks really good. You got good, good space. I mean, this house has good space. You got one neighbor right through there. Big parking lot. You have, I don't know, a one-minute ride on gravel. It's just this crushed rock that goes around. Other than that, super easy access. It's not steep at all. You can come up here in a Honda Civic, a minivan. Your BMW 3 Series could easily make it in here, no problem. Uh, I'll walk you around the outside first since we're here. Give you an idea. And this one was just turned into a rental, okay? Uh, just turned into a rental. I don't believe there's much rental history to speak of. Uh, and you can tell it's still in great shape. It hadn't been beat up. Uh, but it is a frame house. It is not a true log. So, hot tub through there. Uh, you'll be able to see this through the living space, this room there. In your view, you know, you do get a little bit of the mountains peeking through. Nice, just quiet spot. Big old hot tub. Uh, actually, the Smells good. I don't have any problems with the hot tub at all. Uh, but other than that, it looks like, you know, all of this is going to be kind of your private little, you know, getaway. I'd say this is probably on well above an acre, maybe two acre lot uh, in, in the road. I love the road. It's just a chip rock road. Easy to come in. You could park for <laughs> three or four cars there easily. The big porches. So let's go in check it out so you have a place for a dining table i know again some of the the more modern the super new homes really don't have a place for a dining table and this one does big big living space small kitchen um i'm a fan of the small kitchen but we do have high speed internet out here and pretty good cell service to be honest with you uh, but small kitchens are good because that leaves space for everything else uh, gas fireplace, as we talked about, that's to the outside porch. Let's check out everything on the ground level here. Bedroom number one. Uh, I love the little bay window that it has. And that is a queen. You could put a king in here if you wanted to. Uh, it's that big, you know, log cabin furniture that everybody likes. Uh, you can use it or not, but, you know, everything's coming Everything's for sale here. Uh, come through here. It's got a big bathroom. A little throne there. Fiberglass tub. I love this little piece of antique furniture there. It may not even be antique, but it looks antique. It looks good. Um, big bathroom. That would serve as kind of the main level when everybody was down here. Let's go upstairs. You know, leather couches. They're okay. They're okay. They'll get you by in the interim. Those two little chairs are kind of cheesy. The little table next to it's a little cheesy. But I think everything else in here is okay, okay? Just needs a little more, you know, spend a few dollars at Hobby Lobby. That's all I'm saying. I love this little corner piece that fits in there well. Uh, big, big, I guess you want to call this the master. Um... Got the TV here, and again, you kind of got the view of the, you know, this is the best view in the house. Okay, great view from up here, layered mountain view. And they do have one of these big swings that's actually, it's a it's a twin, twin mattress. So if you wanted to come up here, take a nap, or enjoy your coffee first thing in the morning, you can. Super quiet place to, to do that from really 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 this lot is impressing me oh and look i don't know if you can see but right through there it looks like they've got a uh the box for an owl that's pretty cool uh, but anyway this room obviously if you want to call this the master you can it does have the best view in the house king bed in here fits in here easily Actually, even in the closet, they have a little 
roll out bed. So if you needed extra space, I guess you can put it right there. If you got a little kid that wants to stay with their parents, um, in the bathroom standard kind of looks like the other bathroom, to be honest with you. Uh, then, you know, it's, uh, standard stuff, easy to, easy to maintain, nice fiberglass tubs. Again, great spot. I'll give you kind of another view of the living space. And honestly, all the windows in here look great. You know, sometimes you have to worry about them losing their seal on all these custom cut windows. They all super clean, super clear. So that's good. Uh, and this, obviously, you can tell they've they've redone this. I mean, this is newer. You know, every everybody that's been in Lowe's and Home Depot has kind of seen this set up. But it looks very fresh. It's a great, great refresh of the property. So let's go down to the basement. And again, this is a very standard, what I would call kind of basement layout. So here we have bed, another bedroom, has a bathroom. We'll go check it out in a second. Uh, access to the outside to the deck, but you could double bunk this easily. Okay, you want to put four people down here, you could very easily. Down here, just concrete, you know. If you wanted to move your hot tub down here, you could. They just have, they've got yard equipment in this thing. So, but, uh, you know, if you want to come down here and play cards, canasta, or whatever you want to do outside, a uh, great place to do it here. Um, if you wanted to set up cornhole right here, you could. Now we do have a vinyl flooring down here. Just, you know, I say vinyl, it's an LVP, okay? It's not just straight up vinyl. Across the little threshold, and here we have kind of opens up into a multi-stage kind of game room. Uh, good spot, plenty of room here to do some cool things. You could put shuffleboard against the wall, TV there. They got a lot of electronics going on. Um, they got the couch here, so you could put a sleeper couch here, sleep somebody else easily. They got this little day bed here. Um, so this all kind of wraps around uh, and through here. I'm going to assume it's going to be washer dryer. Yeah. Washer dryer lighting through here. You know, they just got some little led lights in the ceiling. It's not a ton of light, but it's, it's absolutely enough to do what you need to do. They got games and puzzles in here. They got the poker table there. I mean, you know what I'm going to say? Arcade right there. Shuffleboard against that wall. Call it a day. Um, we have owner's closet. And this is going to be HVAC type stuff, hot water heater. Yes, exactly, HVAC. The bathroom is here. So, standard little bathroom, okay? But cool little spot. And again, this was the other door that you might have seen that goes to the bathroom. So, or to this bedroom. So, it all just kind of, it's one big circle down here. Good use of space. Real good use of space. Again, I'll give you kind of a shot of this. Um... Plenty of room to do cool things here. If you wanted to put a shuffleboard on that wall, you could do that easily. You could get that bed out of here. If you wanted to double bunk that other room, get that bed out of there, put shuffleboard there, you could. Looks like they've got it wired for some sort of surround sound. Uh, they got oh, they got the little dartboard thing here, but plenty, plenty of space to do some cool things to attract people. And ultimately, that's what this that's what this is about. It's about you know, I've been telling people it's not keeping up with the Joneses. It's one-upping the Joneses. You know, if somebody gets one arcade, you need to get two. Okay, give people a reason to pay three, $400 a night to come here. But solid location, solid property, great condition. I don't have any problems with the condition of this home. Uh, you know, really cool. The property outside is nice. You know, the, the, the lot that it's on is nice. It's got a great view, uh, gas fireplace, plenty of room, sitting room here. And that's it, 307 Fawn Trail.